Good morning. My name is Tom Devereux. I'm part of the parish team here at Sacred Heart Church in Kilburn. Today we celebrate the feast day of St. John Fisher and Thomas More, the deaths of two of the greatest Englishmen of the 1500s. They both gave their lives for the faith and that they refused to follow the request of the King, Henry VIII, as regards the indissolubility of marriage. And the king had appointed himself as head of the church. And they would, obviously the Pope would not agree to this request. A little bit of history about the two men. John Fisher was an academic, a man of great learning and a person of personal holiness. And he had in fact been the tutor of the young king. But he sided with the young Catherine of Aragon as regards the validity of her marriage to the king. He was prepared to give up his life for the indissolubility of that marriage. He was imprisoned in the Tower of London and during that time was made a cardinal of the church by the Pope. And he was executed on, the, on the, this date, the 22nd of June, 1535. Thomas More was a highly educated aristocrat, a very devoted family man who wrote many scholarly works. He again refused to bend to the king's request as regards divorce and Henry's self-appointment as the head of the church. He also suffered the same fate as John Fisher by being executed for his stand against the church and against the king. And they were both beatified in 1886 along with 54 other English martyrs. And the two men were canonized in 1935. Today's reading is taken from the Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 10. Jesus said to his apostles, Do not suppose I've come to bring peace to the earth. It's not peace I've come to bring, but a sword. For I've come to set a man against his father, a daughter against her mother, a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. A man's enemies will be those of his own household. Anyone who prefers father or mother to me is not worthy of me. Anyone who prefers son or daughter to me is not worthy of me. Anyone who does not take up his cross and follow in my footsteps is not worthy of me. Anyone who finds his life will lose it, and anyone who loses his life for my sake will find it. This is the Gospel of the Lord. So in today's Gospel reading, we see the Lord saying to us about taking up the cross and following in his footsteps. So both Thomas Moore and John Fisher certainly did that with their lives. And thus are held up as a great example for us to follow. We may not have to give up our lives we may be asked to make small sacrifices in our daily lives in the following of the Lord. In the word of St. Peter, we may have to suffer for being a Christian, but we should not be ashamed of that, but rather thank God for such as been asked of us in the world that we live in today. We're told the small sacrifices that we make for the Lord will be noticed when we come before the judgment seat of God at the end of our lives, and for them we will be rewarded. So we may not have to lay down our lives like John Fisher and Thomas Moore, but small sacrifices that we can make in the name of the Lord. Thank you and have a good day. And the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen.